So I look forward to working with all of you as I have in the past and some of you in the recent past to keep making this town a great business opportunity. Thank you. So I don't think we really do need to do a whole lot, fortunately. This is one of the things that I think we can more or less agree on that, that especially, you know, the chamber, not that I'm biased because I'm being hosted by the chamber today, of course, but the chamber, Wallingford Center Inc., and the EDC and Hubcap have all worked together in the past very effectively, I think, for the most part. I think at least when it comes to what our role is as, as the next administration, it is more, a little more focused on EDC because that's what directly falls under our umbrella. So whether it's making sure they have the resources they need to improve our communication systems, I mean, again, we have 23 or nearly 2,300 businesses here in Wallingford, we need to make sure that we have the ability to actually communicate with, our, with all those membership um, businesses in the same way that the Chamber does a great job communicating with their members in the same way that Wallingford Centering does a good job of communica communicating with their members. So it's really taking that next step forward. I think part of it is, and it's great to see a lot of people that have worked for this town for a very long time, and I hope continue to do so as long as they're willing, but we also need to start welcoming new perspectives and new ideas for what the future of how we have that relationship, how we have that partnership with Walling for Businesses and the town looks like. I mean, I think you'll see it across many of these organizations that we're not necessarily getting the, the buy-in with a couple of notable, notable, notable exceptions from younger members of the community and younger business owners. So I think that's kind of the next step to make sure that we are not just maintaining what we already have, which is, like, like I said, the foundations are great, but making sure we're taking that next step. And like, it, you know, it's gonna be a very exciting time, the fact that we have all these organizations here in Wallingford working together with a new administration coming forth. I don't think we disagree on this one. Thank you. Thank you both. And now it's time for our closing statements and for our one toss. The first closing statement will go to Red Lake yeah, so, you know, I met a lot of you over the course of, well, obviously living in town, but some more faces I've seen that I've met really just over the last uh, two or three years. And one of the reasons I met some of you was because, and this is, I think, a way that shows that Wallingford needs to improve how we treat our businesses, was the ARPA project, the ARPA proposal and the ARPA money going out to businesses. This showed that we were unprepared because out of the 2,300 businesses in town, many of them, and I know because I knocked on 900 of their doors and talked to these business owners, were not aware that this opportunity was existed for them. You know, we had a big back and forth about not translating the document into Spanish, and the application in Spanish, so all these Spanish-speaking business owners could take advantage of this opportunity. And even though the thoughts were all in the right place, because we basically just did an old-fashioned door-to-door -door method of handing out these, these flyers, with the one exception being Town Councilor Sam Carmody said to set it, send it in the electric bill, still, because a lot of business owners don't live in Wallingford, a lot of them missed out on this opportunity. We need to upgrade our communication software. We need to upgrade how we actually facilitate, promote, and partner with Wallingford businesses and nonprofits to make sure that, look, for the first time in 40 years, we're gonna have a new mayor. That's very exciting, but a huge part, if not the single biggest part of how we write that next chapter for Wallingford's future is going to be based on how we build those partnerships and continue to better promote the business opportunities that we have here in Wallingford. Wallingford, like I said from the start, is a phenomenal town, but we have still have a lot of untapped potential and a lot of work to do to make sure we reach those, those ideals and those goals that we set for ourselves. So thank you all again for coming tonight. So excited to see so many people getting, uh, getting excited and involved in the civic process in a way that I haven't seen in the past. So it's a very exciting election year. Thank you. Good morning again. Thank you all for your attention. Thank you again to Ray and all the members and staff of the Quinnipiac Chamber who made this event possible. You are here because you are interested in the con continuity of our strong town. It's important to you to know that this town will continue to operate well in the immediate future as well as for the long, long term. I hope that I've taken the opportunity this morning to impress upon you that during my 14 years on the town council, 10 of which I've been chairman, I've been listening and watching the business community and the town's administration and its interaction. As a professional for 29 years and the owner of a small business in town for the past 11 years, I know what it takes to pay salaries, to satisfy clients, to make sure that every aspect of a business is addressed and to be supportive member of the business community. I think you all understand that to take the helm of a corporation that has an annual budget approaching $187 million, it takes experience. It helps to have relationships with the department heads. 
I will look forward to working more closely with them than I already have. I will look forward to meeting with them regularly to see that the town's needs, the needs of businesses in town, are being addressed. I acknowledge that the job I'm applying for isn't just about business. Many of you live, work, and play here. I will see to it that the holistic life that you will want will be enhanced. I thank you all again for this opportunity and will be grateful for your vote on November 7th. Thank you. I want to thank both of our candidates, uh, Mr. Brown, Mr. Bonnie, for your participation. It's been a lot of fun.